In the forsaken town of Spring City, where shadows clung to ancient cobblestone streets, there stood an edifice consumed by the moor of time, the Penhurst Asylum. Dr. Sarah Turner, an unwitting newcomer to its malevolent embrace, ventured into the heart of a darkness that transcended the boundaries of the rational. The Penhurst Asylum, a towering structure with ivy-clad walls, whispered the secrets of the tormented souls it harbored within. Dr. Turner, a psychiatrist with an air of skepticism, was drawn to the institution by its haunted reputation. As she delved into the asylum's archives, she discovered files detailing the enigmatic Dr. Edward Collins and the unspeakable atrocities that had unfolded within its walls. Late into the night, Dr. Turner's footsteps echoed through dimly lit corridors as she perused the harrowing tales of madness and despair. The asylum, a crucible of suffering, seemed to exhale the laments of the forgotten whispers that lingered in the air like ethereal tendrils. Yet beneath the veneer of clinical analysis, Dr. Turner perceived an undercurrent of something more insidious, a truth veiled by the fabric of reality itself. It was a subtle whisper, a cosmic murmur that eluded the grasp of reason. One evening, as she immersed herself in the contemplation of madness, Dr. Turner heard an abnormal tale, a patient's account of an otherworldly entity, a presence that defied all psychiatric categorizations. It was described as a spectre that traversed the boundaries between dreams and reality, whispering forbidden truths to those who were unfortunate enough to be ensnared in its uncanny grasp. As her investigation delved deeper into the fringes of the unknown, Dr. Turner encountered patients who spoke in cryptic tongues, their eyes glazed with a cosmic understanding that transcended mortal comprehension. The whispers, insidious and enticing, seemed to beckon her toward the heart of the asylum's mysteries. Dr. Turner, driven by a relentless curiosity tinged with trepidation, embarked on a journey beyond the veil of the tangible. The asylum, its walls pulsating with the echoes of forgotten souls, became a labyrinthine nexus where the boundary between the seen and the unseen blurred. Yet, it was not the malevolent spirit of Dr. Collins that haunted the asylum. Instead, Dr. Turner uncovered a truth that defied the constraints of sanity, a revelation that spoke of an eldritch entity, an ancient force that had woven itself into the fabric of Penhurst's history. As the enigmatic entity unveiled itself through cryptic messages and maddening visions, Dr. Turner's rationality began to unravel. The whispers, no longer confined to the realm of patient accounts, echoed in her mind, a symphony of bizarre secrets that defied the laws of nature. In her pursuit of the truth, Dr. Turner stumbled upon a hidden chamber within the asylum, a place where the veil between the dimensions was at its thinnest. There, in the heart of cosmic malevolence, she confronted the eldritch entity that had whispered through the ages. The entity, a manifestation of cyclopean horror, communicated through an uncanny language that resonated with the fundamental frequencies of the cosmos. Dr. Turner, teetering on the precipice of sanity, absorbed the forbidden truths that transcended the understanding of mortal minds. As the eldritch revelation unfolded, Dr. Turner realized that the asylum itself was a vessel a conduit through which the entity reached into the minds of the tormented. The patients, unwitting conduits of cosmic messages, were both victims and disciples of a force that existed beyond the comprehension of humanity. The plot twist, revealed in the eldritch climax of her investigation, was that Dr. Collins, once believed to be the malevolent force, had become an unwitting agent a mere puppet manipulated by the eldritch entity's inscrutable design. The malevolence attributed to Dr. Collins was but a fragment of the cosmic narrative that unfolded within the walls of the Penhurst Asylum. In the wake of her revelation, Dr. Turner faced a choice, accept the uncanny truths and become a vessel for the entity's whispers, or defy the cosmic force that sought to transcend the boundaries of human understanding. The asylum, now a crucible of eldritch energy, pulsed with an ancient malevolence that yearned for release. The story ended with Dr. Turner standing on the precipice of the unknown, her sanity hanging by a fragile thread. The ghostly entity, its inscrutable motives hidden in the cosmic abyss, awaited the inevitable convergence of mortal and cosmic destinies. 
the Penhurst Asylum, once a place of human suffering, had become a nexus where the eldritch and the terrestrial intersected, a cosmic secret that would forever elude the understanding of those who dared to unveil the whispers of the forgotten.